Hey you guys, The Doc is Hope here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great week so far. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a pattern review. I literally just this week finished sewing up a simplicity pattern by Mimi G and I absolutely love, love, love this dress, you guys. So I shared this pattern with you a little while ago, but I'm so excited to share it with you again because like I said, I just finished sewing it up and I absolutely love it. I think it's right on time for spring and summer. So what else can I say? So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's get into this pattern review. All right, you guys. So the pattern that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is uh, Simplicity 9370. Again, this is a Mimi G style pattern. This dress. Oh my goodness. Okay. I absolutely, when I saw this pattern in the store, I was like, I love that dress. I love the cutout. I love the tie. I love the fit of this. To me, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern and a gorgeous dress. I love anything that has interest to it. Um, so I feel like Mimi G has really elevated this dress um by adding this side cut out and this tie detailing here which to me just takes it to a whole nother level so let's talk about the pattern uh this pattern has 10 pieces so it was very easy to cut out um the pattern pieces as well as the fabric just 10 pieces you won't even use all of them depending on which view you make of this dress I actually sewed up view A because I prefer the more fitted skirt as opposed to the more flowy option of view B here. So keep that in mind. So some things that you'll want to know about, we have our suggested fabrics, which are stretch knits such as jersey, rib knit, stretch velvet. So those are your three. I actually use a polyester spandex, y'all know. I love a good poly span. And I used a good poly span with a gorgeous floral print in the color of purple. Um, actually, it's more like an eggplant. I can't wait to show you guys the dress. It's The print is just gorgeous. When I saw this, I shared it with you guys in my um, fabric haul from last year, but this is what I found at Fine Fabrics on the top shelf. And I had to get one of the guys that worked there and be like, hey, can you get that down for me? Because I need that fabric. So finally got around to using that fabric for this dress. And I'm in love. I absolutely love, love, love it. So um, any of your stretch knits will work for this pattern. As far as your notions go, you're going to need thread, one and one eighth yards of one fourth inch wide elastic. That is to go around this cutout part to keep that nice and cinched and one nine inch invisible zipper. Um, I loved putting this dress together, just seeing how everything works. Because when I first saw this, I was like, how did she get you know, the cutout and how did she get the belt to, you know, be where they are and do what they're doing. But when you construct this pattern, you get to see, you know, how it turned out like this from where it started. So I really liked the process of this dress as well. So for this pattern, I ended up sewing up a size 18 and it's been true to size. So the sizing of this dress when you take your measurements, it's it's right on. It's not too big, not too small, it's just right. So um, let me show you guys the line drawings here. Again, you have view A, which is the more tapered fitted version skirt. And then you have view B, which is the more flowy version of the skirt. You also have the option of short sleeves or long sleeves. I chose short sleeves just because we're headed into spring and summer and I just want to wear this dress right now. So just to show you guys again, to remind you of the fabric that I used, 
with a nice stretch. This plum, this nice floral print here with that beautiful stretch. Um, and I absolutely love this dress in this fabric. So as far as the pattern directions go, there are a total of 25 steps for this pattern. Uh, like I said, you won't use all of them depending on which view you're sewing up, but I think that's not bad. For a dress, uh, 25 steps to me was, was perfect. Um, this dress took me about two or three days to finish um, only because I wasn't sewing the entire day. I feel like it would probably be doable in a, in a couple of days if you really had the time to dedicate to finishing it and, and getting it all together. But for me, it did take about three days. So um, some things that you'll want to know, we have your cutting layout here. Again, I sewed up view A, so I will show you guys that layout, which is here. So what I did was um, folded my fabric right sides together and I put my pattern pieces number three, four, seven, and eight on the folded fabric and cut those out. None of this is cut on fold. All of these are cut, um, cut to, not on fold. And then I opened up my remaining fabric in a single thickness and cut out pieces one, two, and nine because you'll just need one of those. Uh, so this is our bodice, this is our um, neck band, and then we have our tie, our sleeves, and then our skirt front and back. So that is the cutting layout for this particular view of the pattern. So pretty straightforward with the directions. Nothing was too um, tricky, if you will. Um, just so you know, if you do get caught up or hung up on any of the steps, Mimi G does have a sew along, which is listed here at the bottom of the pattern envelope so that you can reference that to sew up this dress. So I thought that was pretty helpful as well. I was keeping it on standby because I'm like, if I run into any issues, I'm just going to watch that video and figure out what I need to do. So, um, Let's see, you start off with sewing your sleeves to your bodice, and then you actually have a sleeve front and a sleeve back, which gives this dress uh, some added dimension to me. It's not just one piece of sleeve, so I thought that was nice. Um, then you're going to attach your neck band. You're going to apply your zipper. There is an invisible zipper here. Um, after that, you go on to adding your, um, Front, putting your front and back bodice together. And then once you've gotten that, you're gonna insert your elastic. So you're inserting the elastic again in the portion of this pattern that there's this cutout. So you're doing your bodice elastic first right in here. And then you're gonna go on to sew your front and back of one side of your skirt together. And then you're gonna add elastic on the skirt here in the cutout. Um, and then once you've done that, you're going to put your skirt and your bodice together. And the next step is going to be your tie. So you're going to actually leave a half of this dress open so that you can put your ties on there and then sew that side seam to hide the, the raw edges of the tie. So love that. Um, Love how that came together. And that's pretty much the end of this pattern, you guys. Again, once you stitch that other side seam together, it's just your finishes. The bottom hems of your sleeves and the bottom hem of your dress. I actually ended up using a twin stitch needle, which I love, 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 especially for, um, for knits. Um, it gave me a nice, clean finish. And that was just it for me with doing my finishes. So keep that in mind as well. So the zipper actually gets installed on the back side of this dress, which I loved as well, because normally either you have a side zipper or a zipper down the back, 
but this zipper is like right across here. So I'll show you guys that when I show you my dress. And then I'm actually going to show you guys on my mannequin what the dress looks like and how it turned out. All right, you guys, so this is an up close view of my dress. Um, as you can see, here's the neck band. Here are those sleeves that I was telling you about. You see how it cuts here. Um, kind of like a raglan type of cut. Um, and then this is the, let's see, this is the front sleeve and this is the back sleeve. So you see again that seam here. Um, so I love how they did that. Love how Mimi did that. This is my twin stitch needle hem on my sleeve. Um, again, I love how that was finished. Let me skip over to the other side. And then here's the zipper that I was telling you about. Zippers right here. So it's right on the back uh, left shoulder of the dress. Let me see if I can unzip it. Okay, I had to get it started with two hands so I can show you. Um, so this is the zipper and this is how you're going to get in and out of this dress. I did have to, and it is in the directions to um, slip stitch your zipper tape at the top just to give you a clean finish on that zipper. So I like that as well. Um, take you guys down to the cutout here detail. Um, only thing that I think I would do different is use a um, straight stitch here just because I don't really like that zigzag stitch, how it shows through. Uh, I would have liked a more clean um, straight stitch. So that's the only difference that I would make. Maybe you'll consider that if you make this dress. Um, here's the cutout bottom. And then here's my tie. So the tie is actually attached here to the front and back of the dress on the side and you actually bring that around the front and then tie it on the side that's exposed here. So I love that. And then here's my skirt all the way down here. Um, oh, and my finishing with my hem. So here's the back of the dress with that zipper all the way down. It's a long dress to the bottom. All right, guys. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoyed making it for you. Hopefully you guys have a good week. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've sewn up this dress before or if you plan to after seeing this video since we're rolling into spring and summer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you later.